Hello, this is Pete from Electric Bike Report, and this is the A to B Shima in for testing and review. This is a very fast electric bike. It goes up to 28 miles per hour, and it does that with the pedal assist only function. Uh, there is no throttle on this bike. So, all right, let's get into the details. So one of the unique things about A to B bikes is they look a little bit different than traditional electric bikes. They have this uh, rectangular style box tubing here, and this is aluminum. And you can see it has a pretty nice step through area, so it makes getting on and off the bike pretty easy. And then you can see where the battery pack is mounted there. Uh, it actually slides on to that part of the frame just below the rack. And uh, you can see the uh, chain stay, seat stay area, also sort of a box section style tubing, uh, the integrated chain guard there. So overall, um, pretty clean design. And you can also see the internal cable routing uh, here on the frame. So. Uh, again, it just kind of keeps the whole design pretty clean. This is the 500 watt direct drive rear hub motor that helps you get up to 28 miles per hour along with your pedaling. And uh, speaking of that, you can see the TMM4 uh, torque sensor here. It's mounted right on the, the back of the frame. And that basically senses how much pedal power you're putting in. And depending on which pedal assist level you've selected, it'll provide the uh, proportional <clears throat> assistance to you. Uh, also in the back here, you can see there's the 8-speed uh, freewheel system and the Shimano XT rear derailleur. Alright, so this is the 36-volt, 13.2 amp-hour lithium-ion battery pack on the Shima. You can actually uh, upgrade to a 36-volt, 17.5 amp-hour pack if you want more range. So to remove this pack, uh, you can basically come around here and then unplug the cable cable is actually magnetized so it's pretty easy to install or remove and then on the top of the rack here just come along and unlock the uh, the top and then uh, you slide the battery pack off the frame like this and then you've got the battery right there and you can charge this on or off the bike this is the charger that comes with the Shima and that plugs into any normal wall outlet and then uh, you can see that it plugs right into the back of the, the battery pack right there. And uh, it takes about five to six hours to charge up the pack. All right, let's take a look at the display on the uh, front of the stem of the E2B Shima. One of the unique things about this bike is it has a wireless key. So you basically come over here and swipe the key across the display and it will turn on there. So this uh, will give you information on your battery level, uh, your current speed, and then the three modes of assist. And to select a mode of assistance, you just turn the dial, you go one, two, or three, and then to select it, you just push in on the dial and it will set that uh, assist. The display also gives you other information like your trip distance, your odometer, and other uh, cycle computer information. Okay, let's take a look at the rest of the handlebar area. We've got the uh, Shimano Alivio 8-speed rear derailleur shifter there, and the bell, and lock-on grips. And then uh, on the left side here, you've got a mirror, which is pretty handy when you're traveling at uh, higher speeds. And then uh, on the front here, we've got the uh, Tektro Dorado hydraulic disc brake levers. This is the Tektro Dorado hydraulic disc brake caliper and the rotor on the front of the bike here and then uh, take a look at the back same thing and you've got the uh, disc brake mounted to the rear hub motor there the Shima comes equipped with the Kenda Crusader uh, 24 by 2.35 inches wide tire um, these are kinda nice because they offer a little wider tire than usual and that provides a little more of a, of a cushy ride this is the SR Sun Tour front suspension fork that uh, helps take a little bit of the roughness out of the road. All right, let's take a look at the accessory package. Uh, we've got the front headlight here on the Shima, and you can see the fenders. Uh, they come both uh, front and rear there, provide uh, pretty good protection and have uh, some pretty cool styling. And uh, also while we're up here at the front, uh, there's that bell and also the, uh, the mirror that comes uh, standard on the Shima. And then down here on the frame, uh, here's the uh, chain guard. And then uh, coming around to the back side of the bike, this is the uh, rear tail light that's mounted right there on the uh, rear fender. And then you've got the kickstand. 
Okay, so that was a quick walkthrough of the features of the A2B Shima electric bike. Check out electricbikereport.com for the full review. Thank you.